What's up guys and welcome back to another update video. It is August 2015. Welcome back everybody. Alright, another big update video coming up. Of course there are always big update videos. Everything's always big. That's what she said. <laughs> What's up guys? Hope everybody is enjoying their summer. Because it is about to come to an end. Abruptly. In a few weeks for a lot of you. And uh, so we're tidying up the summy. The summy. So what the hell's a summy? The summer months uh, with a shit ton of videos. Uh, the past two months, I think we've had about 45, almost 45 videos for you, which is, for me, just absolutely crazy. It's just been a really, really crazy two months. Uh, I've pumped out a lot of videos, pumped out a lot of shit. <laughs> to try to keep you guys busy uh, for the summer like I usually try to do. Uh, so we're going to go over some of those things, and then we'll talk about August and some of the other things that are coming up, because uh, there was uh, a couple little trips and stumbles uh, in the month of July. <laughs> Think of it for a minute, we're still in July, it's going to be August. But uh, anyways, we started right off the month, everything's still normal as far as Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, uh, suburban house, uh, military airfield, and nuke station. I'm um, going to tie those into uh, upcoming month. For August, everything's going to stay the same. Suburban House is probably going to phase out um, over the next uh, one to three episodes. I want to try to just get um, most of what I've already got done, just kind of tidied up, give you guys a schematic, and let you guys have at it. Um, I think that one's kind of losing a little bit of steam, and um, uh, I'm struggling with it. <laughs> I'm struggling a little bit with it. H houses are not obviously not my specialty. Uh, I'm still trying to learn them, and uh, it's just, I don't know. Uh, I'm struggling with that build, and 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 I think um, I think we need to tidy that one up and replace it with another one. Uh, I'm still working out a few ideas for uh, a couple more let's builds. I got to get a couple more things together before I can start them. Uh, so hopefully we should be able to transition about mid month, end of month, out of this suburban house into uh, another type of let's build. Uh, I want to keep the weekends uh, as full as possible with let's builds uh, especially you know so you guys can get into that habit uh, when those go back to school this fall <clears throat> in a few weeks you'll have something on the weekend to uh to watch and you know which i mean you can catch up through the week too but you know whatever i want to try to have you know that schedule always taking care of something on the weekend military field, uh, airfield is doing awesome um probably one of my favorite series uh right now on the channel uh having a great time everything on that uh on the airfield is turning out really really well and I'm very pleased with it. Uh, getting some really good feedback uh, on the uh, on the airfield. We're just about caught up on those videos too. Uh, all you know, all those ones that I uh, bulk recorded uh, two months ago. I guess it's now because we're on episode eight and eleven or nine and eleven, I think it is. Uh, so yeah, it was over uh, two months worth of videos I recorded in about a day and a half. Uh, so we're finally uh, w dwindling down. Uh, those videos, so I'm finally getting caught up on those. So now when I sit down, probably on the next four days off, so I'm getting ready to go back to work tonight, um, and we're f uh, four nights and I'm off for four days, uh, we'll probably try to start doing some more recording in the next four days. Uh, I needed a little short break here after um, the Perdido Spar, and we'll get to that here in a few minutes. Um, so everything should start back up, um, for the most part, just like normal uh, for the past two months. Um, I released, released everything early this week as far as the suburban house was on Thursday and shit, military airfield was today, which is Friday for me, um, just went up not even an hour ago. Um, that way I could get in our update video for today on Saturday. So I moved things around a little bit. Um, new station will probably take about a week or two off. It's already had a week off. Um, I finally run out of footage on that, finally got caught up on that. Um, Matt and I haven't been able to kind of touch bases the past couple of weeks to uh, get some recording done. It's It's been my fault. Like I said, I've been really, really busy trying to get all this other stuff out. And then I've been having a lot of dizzy spells that I've been dealing with too. So, you know, that's still an issue for me and uh, and, and I deal with it. But um, some days it puts me down for a while. But anyways, uh, so that, t that takes care of that. Uh, we had a texture pack update. It was a small one, nothing uh, major. Haven't updated it for a while. Uh, but I wanted to switch out the sandstone, the regular sandstone, and it was kind of really irritating me with the military airfield build um, and some of the future buildings that I want to put um, on the airfield uh, wasn't going to work out. That way I still, I've got a couple different 
uh, choices for the smooth sandstone and the chisel. Um, and same thing with you guys. Uh, there was a couple other changes in the pack, and I don't remember. Uh, flowers. Uh, added some. What the hell is that? Get off me. <laughs> um, switched out all the flowers for you guys for you know those that want you know flower pots and stuff like that. Um, and I wanted uh, a few different variations uh, just for like wildflowers in the, in the fields and shit like that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I put the, uh, shit, what was it, stone bricks. I put the stone bricks back in. Um, so we took out the, I think it was the, the gray clay, gray stained clay is what it was. I had originally put that in um, six, eight months ago for the roads. I was going to use that to make the roads look a lot smoother and stuff like that. Um, the only problem was, and I guess I just didn't realize it at the time, is I didn't have anything for the yellow. I had stuff for the white, but not the yellow. Um, so when I got back doing my roads, um, back a little bit ago, a month or so ago, whatever, uh, it dawned on me that this is just, you know, kind of useless and not going to work. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and switch that back out, put the stone bricks back in, um, which is still uh, actually a nice... To me, it's it's a more usable block. Um, it's a nicer, lighter gray. Uh, we can use it on our um, our airplanes and stuff like that, our jet fighters. Uh, I've actually got one floating around the airfield somewhere that was actually done in the the old texture. And when I switched over, it it looked pretty damn good because uh, we got the slabs and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it 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 still works. Uh, it's still it's still a very usable block now, or a more usable block than what it was before. Um, talked about some other ones that were in the pack that uh, definitely need updating. <clears throat> I'm fully aware of it, um, and, and I did discuss that uh, throughout the, uh, the texture pack update video. Um, ones that I do want to try to um, get some of those blocks so that we can use more of them you know, in the builds. I don't want to stray too far away from vanilla. I never have. Um, you guys know I try to build as close to vanilla as possible so everybody across you know, all platforms can build you know, what I'm building. Um, you know, that we don't have any kind of, you know, well, this, you know, we don't have this block or, you know, this won't work or whatever. Um, I can give you something else alternatively within, you know, within the default texture pack to use. But it's easier if I just try to use all the default blocks and, you know, try not to mess with that too much. But there are a couple blocks um, that I would like to get um, some, some more usable items from. But anyways, that'll be further down the road when I get to it. Texture pack work takes, it takes a, a, a Enormous amount of time um, that I just I'm, I'm not willing to set aside right now for the pack, which is in you know my my eyes very very usable. Um, it always has been, and that's why I always use it. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, I think we had a couple Dacker videos. Me and Lord Dacker are uh, you know of course flying around and we're doing uh, review builds. So if you're building on his server um, over at uh, Lionese or whatever it is or Saint Vincent, uh, more modern type builds. Um, We've been dropping in there, and then also over on Huntington, uh, the Estelon server. Uh, so we've been hitting a lot of different things there. Getting some requests from you guys to do um, the houses over on the Estelon community. It's coming. Uh, Dak and I have already talked about it. Uh, we were going to hook up and get some uh, recording done last week, and you know things come up on his end, and uh, we just didn't get to it, which we've still got a couple more videos left, uh, which should take us through mid-month. Uh, so we should be fine on that, but starting in you know September, we, hopefully we should get into the uh, suburban houses, unless we just switch out some of these uh, upcoming ones for that. So pretty cool there. Uh, again, let's see, suburban houses, air traffic control turned out really good. The uh, control tower. Uh, all right, had a bunch of helicopters that we dumped uh, out on you guys. Built these last month. Uh, had the B-52 that I had built. Uh, again, they were kind of really quick builds, something I was trying to get for filler videos, um, first pass type builds, and threw them up on Facebook, and you guys liked them. I was like, okay, I'll get you guys tutorials. Uh, I made a blunder. I didn't go back and, and, and kind of double check these builds you know, before I, uh, before I put them up. And uh, the first Black Hawk that I put up, it was a miserable fail. And I realized that. Totally understand that. Um, put it up. Uh, even when I was doing it, I'm kind of looking at it and thinking, man, maybe I should redo this. And I'm thinking, well, maybe I'll just do a version 2 down the road. Um, we'll put it up and see see how it goes. Um, so I had already had in the back of my mind that it, it, it might not be a, uh, a great build. Um, and, of course, as soon as it went up, you know, you guys were super respectful about it, like you always are. You know, Jag, not really my, you know, my favorite build. You know, the nose isn't, you know, uh, uh, it's 
too flat looking or whatever, the tail didn't look right. You know, there's a lot of different things that I had already noticed um, and, and, and wanted to fix on, the, on version 2. Um, so within an hour, two hours of uploading that video, uh, I immediately jumped into one of my worlds and fixed the Blackhawk and redid a tutorial and then, you know, the next day, I think it was, or two days later, whatever it was, uploaded the new Blackhawk, which actually was so much better. Love it. Um, the Sea King turned out pretty good. Uh, pretty happy with that. Uh, the Apache is awesome. Uh, probably one of my favorite helicopters. Um, so this is, you know, I was just touching the base of helicopters, the, you know, first ones that I've actually tried to do, except for my very first Blackhawk like four years ago, and it looks, you know, pretty ridiculous. Um, so it was my first attempt at helicopters. Uh, I, I think they turned out pretty good. The Chinook looks pretty good. Um, I tried to stay with the big blocks on that one. Um, probably should have used some sandstone. I probably got, could have got it to look a little bit better. Um, I still got some great reviews. You guys uh, really like that one. Um, so maybe further down the road we'll uh, incorporate a sand type camouflage to it. Um, and we'll do it out of sandstone. So I think that would be cool. Something to you know kind of look forward to in the future. Um, I hope I can get back to that because there's a secondary thought there that I want to run into. Um, the B-52... Um, <laughs> the engines were huge. <laughs> oh yeah, them things were like fucking like I don't know what were they eleven meters long, which is absolutely like thirty three foot long. <laughs> yeah, again, it was the first pass through. I've actually had that done for a while. Um, it's been sitting on the airfield in different places, and you you know you guys really want it. Um, I probably should have double checked that with the pictures, um, and I didn't. <laughs> and uh, a couple of you pointed that out, so. I jumped right back in really quick. Usually if you guys point something out like that, it doesn't take me long to respond, um, either through Facebook, you know, Twitter, you know, or in the comment section. Um, if it's something, pr you know, pretty easy like that, that, you know, I can jump right in and fix, um, that's pretty much what I did. Uh, so I jumped right into the world, fixed the engines, um, took some quick snapshots, uh, put it in the description. Then, the, of course, whoever notices it, I try to put you in the description, you know, for, you know, whoever picked up on that, and then an annotation in the video. So there's a picture, there's an annotation, and then over on Facebook I up, uh, upload the picture too, so you can click on it, and then, you know, you don't have to actually have to download the picture if you don't want to. Uh, so I try to give, you know, a lot of different areas for the fixes. Um, and, and we had a couple fixes this month. Um, the B-52 was one of them. Um, uh, the Black Hawk was a fix. Um, Air Force One was just noticed the other day. I'm sorry, I don't have everybody's name right in front of me. But anyways, uh, Jacob, maybe, I think it was. Uh, I'll check real quick. But anyways, he noticed that the Air Force One had uh, the back wing. I didn't finish the upper part of that. Um, so I jumped right back in, and yeah, it was, uh, J uh, Jacob noticed that. Uh, so I jumped in real quick, uh, took a picture of mine, because it was done on mine, and then uploaded the picture over Facebook and all that, and then annotated everything in the video. Um, stupid little shit, just, you know, I'm, uh, I'm missing in the videos. Uh, I guess because I'm moving quite fast, I'm trying to get a lot out for you guys. I'm pushing a lot of content right now, and, uh, and, and not, I don't want to say I'm slipping, um, but a few things are slipping, you know, through the cracks, and you guys are catching them, and that's great. Um, it, you know, it, it makes me sharper, and uh, it helps get you better quality videos, um, so I appreciate all that. Um, again, my, you know, minor stuff, you know, not like, you know, half the tutorial was completely blacked out and I, you know, and I missed it. <laughs> you know, that, that's, you know, completely uh, inexcusable. So, anyways, um, everything finally come to a good closing here at the end of the month. All them videos that I, you know, that I recorded last month and put all these things together um, to get us through the bulk of the summer so that I could get the oil rig tutorial done. And we have got it done. That was a big one. I mean, just an absolute... Um, wow, that was just a huge freaking tutorial for me to do. I think I had almost nine and a half hours of raw footage. Now, raw footage means, from, obviously, from the time I hit record to the time I hit stop, and then I'll, I'll, I'll go over on my other computer, and I'll figure some other stuff out, and I'll come back and figure out how I'm going to teach that, and I'll hit the record button, and then I'll go again. So the actual tutorial, I've got in between 12, probably 12 and 14 hours of actual, like, sitting in this chair working just doing that part of the tutorial. Um, and then you always figure at least double that time for the editing and then the rendering because i got to go through and watch every single second of it and cut out all those little spots that, you know, I'm looking over here and then I look back while I'm still recording because it's, it's easier than to have 600 freaking clips. Um, I'll just let, let, you know, let it run for 
10, 15, 20 minutes, depending on what part I'm on, and then I'll just jostle back and forth, and it's easier just to splice that out in post-editing. So there, there was a lot of blank spots in that nine and a half hours. I think I found, you know, if taking all that out would get me down to, you know, probably around six, probably six and a half, seven hours maybe. Um, and then into the third section, I started speeding some things up, which I always speed up things in my tutorials. I always have, but I always explain before I do what I do, like, you know, from this block, you know, we're going to go 93 blocks from this block, counting this block as number one, 93 blocks that way, and then I'll speed everything up. And, you know, if there's always a few people that just can't quite grasp that, um, and that's just the way it is. But most of you, like I said, that's, it's easy shit. Um, I, I shouldn't have to, you know, count each block like that, or by now in these advanced, you know, tutorials where I say, okay, outline the building, and you see me start to click out by one and start putting like a handrail around something, that's typical. I mean, that's that that's a big style for me. Um, I put that on a lot of my ships um, and a lot of my builds. Um, and, and if you've done any of my tutorials, be like, yep, Jag, I know what you're doing. Um, and just speed right on through that. Uh, the the buildings on top of the uh, the spar, well, actually, the, the, the floors was all, it mostly it's just, uh, you know, just ribs. Just, you know, uh, floor standards or, you know, floor supports. And covering up the floor. The biggest thing was just trying to get the outline. Uh, the hardest part was the, uh, the lower part, the spar, so I made sure that was nice and slow and explained that. And then the decks going up was super, super easy. Um, so I sped a lot of those up again, um, uh, en enough where you could still hear what I was doing uh, and, and counting blocks and stuff like that. But a lot of it was just so damn repetitive, um, it, it would have been it would have been stupid to leave it at normal speed for the whole tutorial, it, it just would not have made sense. Um, so that is a new style that I'm going to try to start working into these more advanced tutorials. Like I said, if you're working on one of my advanced tutorials, there's a reason why you're working on it. Um, I do, like I always want everybody to try to, you know, be able to build the things that I build. But these bigger tutorials, I always recommend people start with the smaller ones. That way you can pick up on my style and pick up on your skills before you tackle one of these big ones. So there's, there's a reason for the madness. Uh, but anyways, I think that worked out really good, plus it was absolutely fucking hilarious. <laughs> uh, when I first did it, I accidentally clicked the uh, lock to stretch, and I did that a long time ago. Uh, but usually I just speed it up and, you know, I don't mess with the lock to stretch. Um, but when I did that, it, it gives that high pitch chipmunk type funny sound, um, and it's and I kind of like that better. <laughs> and it made, a, it made the swearing really funny, too. So I was like, well, this is great, because it adds, you know, some entertainment. You know, while we're getting through some easy parts. Uh, so you can still see what I'm doing, laugh your ass off, and, you know, the tutorial's still complete, and I don't feel like it's missing pieces. Um, so again, that'll be something else that'll be starting to incorporate into, um, like I said, not only the tutorials, but probably some of my other builds too. I did it on the airfield uh, the other day when I was editing that. I think the one that went up today has some speeding up in it. Um, just again, some boring, boring spots. Um, I guess I inadvertently picked that up from Andy Azota. Uh, I've been watching all his stuff, when I, all his all his stuff, but his his dual build. I really love that um, that that build that he's doing, and uh, he speeds his up. Um, I, his is you know just to get through, you know, save time stuff like that. Um, so like I said, when I did you know watching that, I you know I laughed and thought in my mind, you know, that's that's pretty damn funny. <clears throat> Never thought of it as just using it as a technique to try to you know incorporate into my videos for teaching, um, and it worked. Uh, like I said, and it, and it worked on the platform rig, and after I did, I realized, you know, from the back of my mind where that came from. Um, so I guess I picked that up from him, and thanks, Andy, it works. <laughs> you know, as far as, you know, uh, cutting down on these super big tutorials and any kind of boring spots in my Let's Builds. Again, because he's doing a Let's Build, and I've been watching that, I'm trying to use him as my, you know, kind of my mentor because he, he does great he uh, he does great commentary he's really smooth um, and it's just it's awesome and and I suck <laughs> uh, I'll be honest with you um, you know I just started doing let's plays uh, a month ago two 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 months ago on the channel um, aside from like the nuke station and stuff like that you know I've got somebody else there it's easy to bounce things off but you know just single let's builds you know slow things down how's how, how's you know I'm doing things um, I'm still learning obviously. And I think that's one of the reasons why the house, uh, suburban house uh, build is, is suffering a little bit. Because um, not only am I struggling, it's hard for me to sit there and uh, figure out how to build something new. 
and then talk at the same time. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit with that one. I think is what I'll do is we'll come back to that one probably after whatever replaces that for the next couple months. We'll come back to the Suburban House because I still have a couple more designs, um, but I'm going to work those off the camera uh, and, you know, and try to get a little bit more... Not so much done. I don't want to make a bill because that kind of takes the, the fun out of the let's build. Um, but a little more planning uh, uh, so that when I come back, uh, you know, I've got a little more reference, some more reference pictures to kind of look at while I'm working on that. The military build is it's different because I was in the military. Um, I, I know quite a bit about it. I mean, there's a lot I don't. A lot of stuff i got to look up. A lot of, you guys usually know a lot more about it than I do um, just because there's, you know, a vast majority of you guys. And there's only one of me. Uh, so... Anyways, I usually still got to do a lot of research, but um, as you know, with that kind of experience, I can. It's just it's easier for me to build and talk. I, just, I think I still struggle a little bit, but not too bad. I really really like that one a lot better. Anyways, um, coming up in that one, um, I've got uh, plans. I'm going to show everybody what uh, you know what's coming up in the airfield. So I put signs up on the back of the building, and I'm going to go over that probably in two more episodes, somewhere around mid month. Um, when I get ready to switch out from the tower into the next build, um, which I'm not quite sure which one it's going to be yet, um, we'll look at the back of that building so you have an idea of what you know what I'm getting ready to do. I'm, I, I want to try to give everybody a better idea of what I'm working on. Um, I used to, and I always have, you know, kind of thrive on secrecy. You know, it's you know that big punch, bang, there is. You didn't know it was coming. Um, I, I want to try to get away from that. Uh, I really want to let you guys in on exactly what I'm working on. Uh, I still want to keep some secret builds going. Is that cutting my head off? Sorry. Um, you know, I, I still want to keep a couple little secret builds on the side, you know, because I, I, I still like that, um, you know, that surprise factor. Uh, but if I can, you know, get, you know, try to get more out there and let you know what I'm working on, you'll know what's coming up and, you know, you'll be like, well, God, when's he going to do this? When's he going to do that? Um, so anyways, um, that, that's what's going to happen with the airfield. I'm going to give you kind of like a, not really a timeline, but just certain things on the airfield that we need to work on. Um, and then we'll go through that and figure out what we're going to build. And it will last for a while. There's a lot of stuff to do there. Uh, so anyways, that's, that's how we're going to take care of that. Um, I will probably go ahead and put uh, a picture on the screen right now. And what this is, is uh, things that I'm working on and top on the request list to do. Um, now, is what this is, is obviously what it says it is. The request video, I'm going to take a drink real quick, sorry guys. I might just splice that out. Uh, now, uh, several, several months ago, I put up a request video, and that's where I send everybody to put your requests, and let everybody kind of vote these things up, and see which ones are the most popular, and I've been working off this request video. Uh, the uh, the pack T50 uh, came off of that and that got done. Um, several other ones, uh, even the smaller stuff, uh, a, a majority of it came off of that list. Different trains, the different helicopters, um, just different things like that came off of that video. It's more organized. It's easier for me to get there and uh, you know figure out what's what's getting voted up the most. Uh, but with some help again uh, from from Jacob, Jacob Burdett helped me too. I hope I said that right. I've got a couple of Jacobs over there on Facebook, and I had to go over and check real quick to make sure who which one was which. Uh, but anyways, he helped uh, put a, uh, a list together of the uh, the most requested ships off of that video, and then I went through it and uh, also compared. And this is what I came up with. So the top requested ships, and you see right at the top, Helicarrier. It has started. Uh, those of you that are following me over on Facebook have already seen pictures of it. Um, don't get too excited. <laughs> this is probably going to be one of the most complicated builds I have ever tried to tackle. Um, there are a lot of different angles. There's a lot of different detail to that build. Um, it's it's crazy. It's awesome, awesome crazy. Uh, but I did get a lot done uh, for what I call a first run. Uh, usually I'll build something you know, most of the way through, and then I'll use that as a reference point and start over. Um, so what is done will probably, will most definitely probably not be, <laughs> wow, is that run together, will not be the final design, of course, uh, but it gives me a good feel of, you know, how to tackle the build um, and things like that. But you can check that over, uh, check that out over on Facebook. It turned out really, really awesome. 
so far, um, when is it going to be done? I don't know. Like I said, it's it's 450 plus blocks long, almost 300 wide, and um, those are like one one scale off of one of the pages that I went to and found. That was there was only like one place that I could find the uh, the actual size of that damn thing. Um, so I went. I started actually building two. I've got a smaller one and I've got a large one. I'm going to try to get the large one done first, and then do a smaller version, kind of like I did with the big E. That way, those that don't, holy shit, I don't want to do that damn big build, I've got a smaller version that maybe you can tackle. And it'll be about the size of one of the you know, aircraft carriers. I think it's about like two, almost 300 long. So, but again, these are, you know, something that I'm trying to work on the side. I do want to get them done as fast as I can because they are just, ad, I mean, so many of you people have, you know, you people. <laughs> so many of you guys have, uh, have, have been, you know, requesting this build for years. Um, probably one of, again, one of the, I say it a lot, but the top requested video, or, uh, uh, build to do. So I did finally get starting on it. Um, I, I want to get it done by this fall. Obviously, I want, I want to get it done quicker, but, you know, all these other builds, um, you know, I want to try to work on those too. Uh, people wanted the, uh, Dreadnought Battleship. So, uh, the USS Texas was one of the most requested ones, uh, because it's the last, um, the last one that you can, you know, that's still in pieces, um, and it's very, very famous. Uh, Arizona gets requested a lot. Lord Dacker has one. It's it's fucking awesome. I, I'm not even going to try to top that one. Um, now, I know we do crossover on, on certain builds. Um, I, I've got one, and he's got one. Certain things I just, you know, I want to build. You know, I want the, um, you know, the joys of, uh, of, of getting through the build and building it. Um, so yeah, we're going to have some that are going to cross, you know, I know, I know people that, you know, like, well, he's got one, you know, you know, you just said, you know, you can't do one cause he did. I'm well, it's not that I can't do it. It's just, I'm trying to utilize what time that I have, uh, you know, to work on Minecraft to get what, what I think, you know, most, the majority of people are going to want, um, without, you know, sacrificing something that somebody else has done, especially if there's another good, you know, another good, good or great version of it. Um, and like I said, you know, he's got a great version of the Arizona and, you know, we try to work things, uh, you know, United front, like he said in his last rambling video, um, you know, he tries to take a lot of the, you know, the non U S stuff if possible. And, you know, and, you know, lets me have that and then vice versa. He gets, you know, everything else European and, you know, you know, whatever. Uh, so usually I send a lot of people over to his channel. He sends a lot of people over to mine. Uh, between the two of us, we can knock out twice as much stuff, and you don't have to wait two years to get something, you know, you know, a really great build for, you know, a certain ship that you're waiting, you know, waiting on. Uh, so anyways, that's kind of where this is at. I got, I got a lot of USS stuff. Um, uh, I don't have a lot of foreign things. Um, so I've got like the USS Pennsylvania, uh, the North Carolina, Independence and Freedom. Now he's done those. Uh, he did those a couple of years ago, I think. And those have always been on my personal list. Um, so again, that's kind of like a personal one that I want to do. Um, but yes, still gets requested a lot. So that one will overlap with his. Um, and he's fine with that. And he, you know, he does you know stuff that I do. So I mean, it, it's all good. Um, the USS New York L, uh, LDP 21. Is it, did I type that right? Yeah. Um, but anyways, the uh, USS New York uh, was has been on my list for a long time. I actually want to try to get it done by 9-11 of next month. I don't think I'm going to do it. I really wanted to. That was kind of the, uh, the gist of getting a few of these helicopters done for not only my, you know, my wasp, but for the New York that's coming up. Um, I redid the LCAC and the LCU. Again, you see pictures of that. I'll probably post them on the screen. They turned out awesome. Man, I love them. Especially the LCAC looks so much better. I don't, I think I overscaled that pretty bad when I did the wasp. Uh, so when, when I went back and looked at the dimensions, I was, I was off pretty, pretty bad. Um, so I crunched everything down and still got it to look really, really good. Um, so that says something, I think, for me on a personal level, for as, you know, as far as you know, my skill level goes, um, which is pretty awesome. But anyways, that's why I redid those and then the, the LCU for the New York. So when that comes out, you know, we'll have some new vehicles for that build, which would be really, really awesome. And then uh, the Alabama. Top request of subs. Here we go. We got um, some foreign ones because... I mean, I've pretty much got what the U.S. has, you know, I mean, the Ohio class is, you know, big, you know, biggest class that we hit that there is in the U.S. Um, and then the U.S. is Pennsylvania, which is Ohio class anyways. No sense really doing that, even though it gets requested a lot. It's kind of the same thing, a little redundancy. 
Um, so anyways, we got the German U-boat, again, which has been on the request list for a super long time, probably years. Um, I do want to take a look at that. Uh, the Japanese I-400, again, another gigantic sub, um, Japanese version. People have requested that several, several times. Uh, top requested carriers, these always take forever, um, but these are ones that I'm going to do. These are the ones that I want to personally do. Uh, the Nimitz class has been really, 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 really high on the list. Um, and that is cool because it will cover pretty much 10 different carriers when it's finished. Um, because the Nimitz class, you know, when they lay that thing down, when they contract it, the, the ship's the same. Everything's the same. The only thing that changed on the Nimitz class carriers from uh, USS Nimitz all the way up to Stennis, what was after that, I don't remember. Uh, but anyways, all through the Nimitz class carriers, the only thing that really changed was the tower. Uh, the main tower itself stayed the same. It was the radar system behind it that started off on the Nimitz back in the junkyard right behind the tower. And they started, you know, making that a little bit smaller and then moving it closer and then making it smaller and then moving it closer. Um, and then finally made it part of uh, the tower. Uh, and then as, you know, they got through halfway through, through the carriers, of course, technology changed. So they bring them in. They put different weapon systems around the carriers, um, updates, you know, some of those things. Uh, and, and, you know, the radar systems and stuff like that. So the majority of the Nimitz class carriers, once I give you that one design, you'll be able to build just about any one of them that you want from pictures. Just go in and change, you know, change things a little bit. So that will be a very, very um, versatile uh, tutorial once that one is done. So really looking forward to that one. The Yorktown class, USS Enterprise CV-6, that's the one that's going to be done for the, U uh, the Yorktown class because I'm missing the other Enterprise. I want that to complete the group. Um, so, yes, that one is going to get done. Uh, the Japanese Akagi. Akagi, I think, is how I say that. I'm not really sure. If, it, if it's not, I'm sure somebody will correct me, but it's fine. Um, another really cool uh, aircraft carrier, uh, obviously Japanese, <laughs> uh, got, has got a shit ton of requests. Um, so, yeah, that one is definitely on the list. I will, I will start working on that as soon as I get some of this other stuff, you know, cleared out and working on. Um, other ship requests, just generalized. A lot of them that just get a lot of requests. Uh, Fletcher class destroyers, so the USS Fletcher um, frigates. Uh, it's, it, it would be the USS Oliver uh, Hazard Perry. Uh, that is the most requested one, and then of course the HMS Hood to go with uh, the Bismarck. Uh, so that'll follow over there with the uh, the different battleships and stuff. But anyways, that is that. That's the main build list. That's that's what I'm working on, or that's what I want to work on over the next six months to a year. Um, yeah, I know it sounds like a long time, but there's a lot of builds here, guys. You know, on top of a lot of all these other, you know, smaller stuff that, you know, I'm, you know, I'm trying to work on too in the city and down there shipping yards, um, over in the airfield builds, and, you know, and all, and all that good stuff. So yeah, this is, you know, you know, taken from that request video. This is the stuff that I, I will most be most likely be working on for your larger type builds. Um, so you, you know, your big tutorials. So you know what's, you know. Stick around for a while. <laughs> Jag's not going anywhere. Um, I, I, like I said, I've got a lot of lot of things planned. Um, it's just going to take time, and uh, and the majority of you guys are very very patient, and I appreciate that. So, anyways, that's that's what we're working on. That's where we're looking. I know this is a long long update video, but I really want to cover a lot of different things because the, you know summer is ending, um, and I, I want to kind of give you guys an idea of of where I'm looking at in the future, uh, especially the near future in the fall, uh, when things start to slow down like they usually do. It's typical. I mean, it's, you know, YouTube, people go back, you know, kids go back to school. Um, it's, it's just every year that I've been doing YouTube for the past five years, wintertime, you know, for the majority slows way down compared to the summertime. And like I said, it's not just my channel. It's, you know, pretty much everybody else's. Um, so... Typically, we will start slowing down, but that's going to give me more time to start knocking out some of these bigger builds for, let's say, like next year, the beginning of next spring, um, we'll have a shit ton of, you know, big builds that are ready. Um, so as things slow down over the next month or two, a couple months, um, you know, that time that, you know, uh, you know, I'm not uploading a video, I'm, I'm working on one of these builds on the side. So, you you know, keep an eye on Facebook. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely post uh pictures over on Facebook and keep, you know, people updated of, you know, things that I'm working on. It's just been a very good outlet for me to just dump pictures on and let you guys see them. Uh, so that's working out really good. 
Uh, so as I work on these different things, you know, you'll see, you know, okay, well, you know, he's working on that. You know, that's cool. Um, so you'll have a better idea of where I'm at anyways. That's, that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to say. One of the things on that list that I just showed you is, is done. It's completed. Complete. The only thing that uh, needs to be done is the tutorial. Um, so I want to, again, I want to try to get some of the tutorial done before I release the promo video. So you guys don't have to wait so damn long after seeing the promo video like we did the Perdido Spar was back in January and it's July now. You know, six months is, you know, that's, that's a little ridiculous. But I mean, I can't help that. Um, you know, something like that, it just, it just takes, a, it's a lot of work. Um, but as, you know, as I grow as a channel, as I try to get a little more organized, which I've been trying to do the past couple months, um, you know, that's the biggest thing is, is, you know, working into a different groove of getting time schedules, getting things organized, getting builds more organized. Um, you know, that way it's, it's easier for everybody. You don't have to wait so damn long for things. Um, plus, it, you know, I know what I'm working on. I know what's, you know, what's coming up. I just don't sit down and be like, well, I'm not sure what to build. I know what to build. I got a nice list here um, that you guys have, you know, helped provide. And, um, uh, and I'm going to be busy. Uh, so, like I said, you know, a, as I grow as a channel, as we keep moving forward, um, hopefully things just continue to keep getting more organized. Um, so, anyways, I think that's about. Oh, um, I did want to retie back into um, when I was talking about uh, rebuilding the Blackhawk and then rebuilding some of the other stuff. Um, the LCAC was 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 where I was going to go with that. Has got rebuilt. So some of them older builds, eventually, I would like to rebuild. Um, we've got different blocks now. Um, you know, I think like I said, my skills are a hell of a lot better than they were when I first designed it. The scaling was off. Um, I, I hadn't quite got my scaling down yet. Um, so, you know, some of those builds I like to redo. Uh, the Blackhawk, speaking of the Blackhawk, I put on my Arleigh Burke because um, some people said, you know, they, you know, they switched it out and it's, and it's too big. Um, not really. I mean, it's, it's there. I think I actually overscaled the Burke just a little bit. Um, I think the problem with that is the design on it is a little off. So I want to take another look at that um, eventually. Like, so this is on a side burner somewhere. Um, take another look at the Burke and maybe redesign that a little bit and see what I can come up with. Um, like I so said, some of the stuff, you know, I try to make sure it fits, you know, just the best as I can. Um, but now, like I so said, you know, I am where I am now and I look back, um, you know, stuff like that doesn't quite line up. Uh, but it's still not bad. It's, I mean, it's, it's not really far off. <laughs> so, anyways, almost 40 minutes, and it's probably one of the biggest update videos we've had in a while. But there was just a lot of stuff that I really, really wanted to cover. I wanted to talk about um, those that are still sitting around. I really, you know, you guys are my diehard fans. Uh, really, you guys know I really, really appreciate you watching. Um, smashing that like button, hitting that like button every damn time you click on a video. Immediately hit me uh, the thumbs up button before you even watch it. Um, really keeps me, I mean, you know, you hear a lot, you know, a lot of people say, you know, it keeps me you know, motivated. It does. You know, if I post a video and it gets 100 fucking views and like 30 likes, it's kind of discouraging. I'm like, well, God, you know, maybe people just don't want to see that, you know, so I, I won't upload no more of it. Uh, you know, but they're, you know, it's kind of unfair to the people that are watching it. You know, I really like that series. Um, you know, like the Suburban House. You know, it's, it's starting to slow down. The views are getting, you know, a lot lower on it. But there's, there's still a handful of you that, that enjoy that series. That's why, you know, I'll bring it back. I just want to give it a rest um, and maybe work some stuff on the side and then come back to it when I've, I've learned a little bit more about, you know, building the houses. Uh, but I do want to transition it into a couple more Let's Builds around the channel. They're, they're You know, they're good for, you know, they, they, they take up some good time around the channel and give me time to build stuff. I mean, look at all the stuff that I've pumped out the past couple months just from two Let's Builds. So, uh, yeah, big awesome time savers for me but again really really appreciate everybody around the channel um, you know clicking the like button commenting every time I know a lot of it you know it's repetitive you know a lot of my responses are re repetitive but you know I'm reading them um, you know even if I give a smiley face back it's you know jag jags reading. I spend anywhere between one to three hours a day either just on Facebook um, Twitter and YouTube answering comments uh, helping people out um, and, and, and that's always been a big part of my channel. And it's always going to be just, you know, just as long as I can, you know, keep doing it, I will. Um, so anyways, that's it, guys. That That's all I got for this update video. Uh, again, thank you very, very much for all the support. Um, just keep on trucking. 
Uh, we should have another fairly busy month in August. It's definitely probably going to start slowing down a little bit. You might see some weaknesses in, you know, in between the videos where, you know, you might go three, four days without a video. Um, again, I've, I've completely run myself out of content. I've drained the hard drive. It's awesome. <laughs> Cause I literally had a, you know, two terabytes, four terabytes of fucking, you know, hard drives down here. One of them was completely filled of footage. Um, so yeah, it's, it's awesome. I've, I've, you know, got through that. And, uh, and it's completely empty right now. Everything is caught up, and it's just, pfft, now I feel like shit. <laughs> I need a break, but I don't want to stop because I've got so many things that I want to keep doing. So that's that's, that's what we're going to keep doing. Uh, but anyways, I'm done. I'm done. 40 minutes. We're finished. Thank you guys very, very much, um, and we will see you September 1st, Matt's birthday, September 2nd, my birthday. So uh, we will have an update video on the 1st, and uh, you guys have a good one. Finish out your summer. Enjoy the last of your vacations. Uh, good luck on the spar and all that good stuff, and we will see you on the next one later.